Welcome back to Speech Fit Fitness. Today is Tuesday and we are going to train the lat muscle that is back. In this video, I'm going to share a little information on synaptic part about the back muscle and its supporting muscles along with a few exercise variations that covers the upper, middle and lower portion of the back. So let's begin. What is latissimus dorsi? In scientific term, back muscle is named as latissimus dorsi. Lat muscle is the broadest muscle in the body. Covering the lower portion of the back, extending from sacral, lumbar and lower thoracic vertebrae to the armpits. Back muscle along with other supporting muscles such as trapezius, levator scapulae, rhomboid minor and major, rotatory cuff muscles that is supraspinatus, subscapularis, infraspinatus and teres minor muscles are also activated while training for your back. Now why is it important to train the lat muscle? So this very thin roughly triangular shaped muscle is not commonly used to spread as in daily activities. Still it is necessary to train this muscle because it helps in other forms. For example, while doing push-ups, chin-ups, or maybe lat pull-down exercise, you need to have a strong back. Not only that, an individual with a weak back will not be able to perform to his or her potential. So it is important that you train your back muscle. Now let us see the exercise variations that will help build a strong back. Once you finish with your pre-workout stretching, start with close grip chin-ups. This exercise variation primarily helps in activating latissimus dorsi, that is your back muscle. This is a good warm-up exercise for most of the upper body muscles. This underlying hand grip position also helps in activating your bicep muscle with the help of shoulder movement. The difference in the hand grip position when compared to other chin-up variations is very minimal. So you may choose a chin-up variation that suits you the best. Now this first variation exercise would be cable close grip lat pull down. The targeted muscle is middle back. This is one of the effective exercise focused majorly on the middle portion of the back muscle. This close grip position helps in increasing the range of motion at the elbow. This is a compound exercise that helps in targeting most muscles of the back, notably the latissimus dorsi. Perform 3 to 5 sets with 10 reps per set of this exercise. Let's move on to the next variation, seated cable rowing. This is one of the superior exercise variation when compared to wide grip or reverse grip lat pull down exercise. For this variation, you need to maintain a neutral spine position in order to reduce the stress and be it more effective. Along with the lat muscle, this exercise helps in activating the middle trapezius and rhomboid muscles as well. Perform 3 to 5 sets with 10 reps per set of this exercise. The third variation would be cable lat push down. Targeted muscle is upper and the lower back. Lat push down exercise is beneficial in strengthening the muscles of both upper and the lower back. It aids in strengthening the latissimus dorsi muscles and extremely vital for spine stabilization. Perform 3 to 5 sets with 10 reps per set of this exercise. Let's move on to the next variation, bent over dumbbell rowing. The dumbbell rowing exercise is typically intended to work the latissimus dorsi, rhomboids, lower traps and erector spinae muscles. It requires a large degree of stabilization from the rotatory cuff. Make sure the body position for this exercise is proper. To perform this exercise with your right arm, Position your left knee on the edge of the bench and left arm on the front of the bench for support. Make sure your upper body is parallel to the floor. Perform 3 to 5 sets with 10 reps per set of this exercise. 
Now the last variation will be deadlifts. Deadlifts are of greater exercise and effective at building strength in your lower back and legs. This is also a strengthening exercise that works several muscle groups including your back, glutes and legs. This is one of the best exercise that target muscles in both upper and lower body as well. Performing a deadlift with good form is imperative to reduce the risk of injury particularly to the lower back. Perform 3 to 5 sets with 10 reps per set of this exercise. So these exercises will not only help you to build a strong back but also help you in building a broad V-shaped body. Hope you all like the video. Please do subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.